Guys, Litecoin halving is going to happen in 95 days, and it's a historic event that could push LTC price up several times. Why Litecoin is very important for Bitcoin. When can we expect $500 per LTC and a rise before the halving? Let's figure it out right now. Litecoin is currently trading at $88 and is ranked 12th on coin market cap. But Litecoin has come the longest way of all the altcoins. Back in 2011, when not many people had even heard of Bitcoin, former Google engineer Charlie Lai launched a blockchain. He simply took the Bitcoin code, modified it, and created a faster and cheaper version of Bitcoin. This is how Litecoin, the light version of Bitcoin, was born. Like Bitcoin, the maximum number of LTC is fixed. There will never be more than 84 million Litecoins in circulation. And as you can guess, Litecoin has the halving once in four years like Bitcoin. And the next halving is going to happen this summer. Even though Litecoin was launched later than Bitcoin, the blockchain was used as a sandbox to test various updates before launching on the Bitcoin network. For example, the Lightning Network protocols for instant transactions was first launched on Litecoin in 2015. Thus, Litecoin helped the development and growth of Bitcoin, although it lagged far behind in terms of growth. In 2013, Litecoin ranked second on the coin market cap after Bitcoin. At the time, Bitcoin was worth $1,000 and Litecoin was worth $34. Since then, BTC has surged 30 times and Litecoin only three times. The difference is pretty significant. What is going on with Litecoin now? And what are the fundamental reasons for the growth? Litecoin is now traded on all the top exchanges and is used as a means of payment on many platforms, such as donating to Twitch or paying for travel through Travela. The number of active addresses in the network has steadily increased since the creation of Litecoin. This means that despite the primacy of Bitcoin, people continue to use Litecoin for their purposes. In addition, the hash rate of Litecoin is growing, which tells us that the number of miners has been increasing over the years, and the network is becoming more decentralized, which is also a good plus for security. Last May, Litecoin integrated the Mimble Wimble update, which allowed for private transactions on the network. Of course, the regulators didn't like it, so some exchanges were forced to delist LTC and close trading. In general, Litecoin is kind of a dark horse, which is scarce on loud announcements, but always takes the place of honor and is in the top of cryptocurrencies not only in terms of capitalization. Unlike the Solana network, which often stops, the Litecoin network has never stopped in 11 and a half years. Litecoin definitely has a future, just like our channel. To make us even more enthusiastic about content, subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. It will motivate us. And now let's move on to the second part of the video, where we're going to try to predict the Litecoin price and the time it will hit a new all-time high. In front of you is a chart where I have highlighted the dates of the latest Litecoin halvings. Do you see a pattern? I don't either. Unfortunately, the picture is that Litecoin halving doesn't really affect the price. In 2019, the price of LTC was growing before the halving, and then it was dropping. And then it surged again, but during the bull market, not the halving. Before the last halving, the Litecoin price reached a maximum of $150. Based on this data, we can assume that Litecoin price will surge by 70% in the next three months and then start to decline. History doesn't guarantee it will happen again, but the trend is upward. Plus, major media outlets may begin to fuel interest in Litecoin ahead of the halving, which in turn will bring in new audiences and new money. Don't forget that the more important factor for Litecoin growth is Bitcoin and the crypto market. Right now, the market is in limbo and seems to have run out of steam. On top of that, we are approaching summer, which is a historically sluggish period for the crypto market. Think back to the market crash of 2021 and 2022. Few coins surge in summer, and Litecoin is no exception. The short-term forecast for Litecoin before halving is for it to surge to a maximum of $150. As you can see on the chart, I have marked the accumulation and distribution zones. During the accumulation, large investors bought Litecoin to sell coins just before the halving in the distribution zone. This is a standard pattern, and I've shown it many times in my videos. Since the price is in the distribution zone right now, it is best not to buy. However, keep in mind that I'm not giving financial advice and I could be wrong. 
If we talk about a longer forecasting horizon, I expect an all-time high update during the next bull market. That's a profit of about 400% for those who know how to wait. Note, every Litecoin peak has ended very quickly. If you're lucky enough to see LTC above the all-time highs, you can sell some of your coins. Otherwise, you can stay forever holders without profit. Now, let's analyze Litecoin locally. On a four-hour time frame, we can see an uptrend and a strong level at $110. There is a struggle for this level. If LTC breaks it, the price will go further to $150. Otherwise, the LTC will go back to $70 to $80. Traditionally, we look at the dynamics of Litecoin against Bitcoin. Here we see a strong downtrend and a local uptrend. Litecoin continues to lose strength against Bitcoin. You can clearly see it here. Here's the bigger picture. Over time, Litecoin has lost 90% against Bitcoin, and unfortunately, the trend continues. Litecoin is often compared to Dash, Monero, and Zcash because these are also old projects. I also decided to compare and discovered something interesting. Litecoin is at an all-time high relative to Dash. Given that Litecoin has added an anonymity mechanism, it is possible that some of the Dash audience will migrate to Litecoin. Relative to Zcash, Litecoin is also near the highs. Monero is the only asset of old that remains strong relative to Litecoin. To sum it up, Litecoin remains the leader among the old coins. And with a high probability, the token will hit a new all-time high, reaching $300 to $500 per Litecoin. But only the patient ones will be able to sell at this price. And hopefully they will be my subscribers. Thanks for watching your CoinPost.